Hello, it's Rich from pitlanes.com and today I've just had my Nixim brake uh, spring kit um, arrive um, and I thought I'd do a little video um, attempting to show uh, how to install it and such. This is what comes in the pack, you get a little info piece of paper that doesn't really say out, it just tells you to go to nixim.com for instructions and then you've got the little rubber which can't be compressed really, it's pretty, pretty high density and then the progressive spring that is quite tough to press. Now in case you don't know the point of it is to increase the braking pressure on the brake pedal and make it more progressive. It's very, I think the word's linear with a standard G27 pedal um, and underhand there's some resistance but underfoot there's not much resistance. So what you're doing basically is replacing the stock spring with this spring and uh, the rubber buffer inside there. I'm not really sure which way it goes up. Um, I think you can do it either way up, I'm not sure. But that's part of the process. I will learn as I'm going along. So hopefully what you're going to see is a video of me taking my pedals apart and installing the Nixon brake mod. Um, and then giving you some initial impressions of it. Okay, so first we've got a little picture close up of the Nixim spring itself. You can see that it's coiled tighter towards the top, um, which is actually the bottom. I just done it the wrong way up. Um, and this helps aid the progressiveness um, of the spring. And also the rubber stopper to the right there, um, that also, I believe, just acts as like a bump stop, so it can't travel any more than that because within the housing on the G27 there is in fact um, a, l a little piece that would sit against that so it'll stop it sort of thing and what you're going to need um, for the installation is a 2.5mm um, allen key a 5mm allen key, a 10mm spanner and a small Phillips screwdriver I had a couple of larger uh, Phillips screwdrivers and a couple of sets of grips um, just in case but I didn't need the grips or the bigger um, screwdrivers but I would recommend a little set of tweezers to get the um, the screws out from the housing uh, behind the carpet tack thing so yeah that's helpful so first of all you're going to take your 2.5mm allen key and use that to remove your pedal faces and then what you're going to do is take your um, small Phillips screwdriver and remove the 14 screws that are on the underside of the pedal housing. Um, I tried to lay them out in a certain order so that I could see where they are. Um, here I got a little bit confused but there's two I missed just there and then the housing came off, there's two little screws just there that keep the wires in place and then I got to taking the pedal apart which was very very simple using the spanner and the allen key and there was a little comparison of the springs and I should come back now and pop them into, pop the Nixim into the housing and this is me swapping over the original brake with the original accelerator to try and give more progression within the accelerator. Um, putting it back together is literally just uh, the opposite <laughs> of taking it apart, funnily enough. Uh, but obviously be careful to put the sp screws in the correct places. Um, the tweezers came in handy putting the screws back in behind the carpet track um, part there. Um, it's very fiddly and I'm not sure how else you'd do it otherwise, but there you go. Okay, what you should have seen there was me uh, installing the Nixon brake mod into my brake. Um, also, what I've done is swapped the original brake spring uh, with the original accelerator spring. And I'm sure, hopefully, you should be able to see just the difference there. I can totally compress, totally compress that one there, um, as opposed to the Nixon, which and did that. This is the accelerator spring. Uh, the original brake spring had more resistance, 
So I've put it inside here as I figured it may give me a little bit more um, feeling uh, with acceleration but if you can see that in comparison with how it was um, I can tell you without a doubt that it gets harder and harder to push so there's, there's more resistance to start with but then it, it really builds um, in comparison with the straight down how the original one was um, so the next thing is to hook it up to my PC and have a little test um, unfortunately I don't think the lighting is good enough for me to have a foot cam but I'll record some footage of me driving and um, give you a little verdict so here we are we've got me driving on my very first attempt uh, after installing the Nixim um, obviously as I said I changed the accelerator pedal over so the, the pedals really felt like a new set of pedals um, it's difficult to describe uh, how different it is. First off just swapping the brake with the accelerator, the original one um, it's, it's got more resistance, um, not in a progressive way, it's just got more resistance which feels more realistic in my opinion um, well, you know what does the accelerator feel like I know the original G27 is basically like there's nothing so for me I had I used to have trouble more so than now um, with wheel spin out of slow corners in certain cars um, having to short shift probably earlier than usual but um, I, I think this is going to improve it just because there's a bit more resistance there um, so it allows you to control it a bit better now as for the Nixim you should be seeing up in the top there that straight away in the first sector at Laguna Seca I'm nearly four tenths up that is dropping now but nearly four tenths up on the big braking area into the first corner um, by the end of the lap it does teeter off a bit just because I let myself down on the rest of the lap but um, I recommend it basically off my little initial testing um, the G27 stock brake feels like there's basically nothing there um, so uh, you, you, you press the brake and it just goes straight down to full brake and there's no resistance pretty much um, unless you've got a very weak leg and ankle um, but with this it feels very much like uh, a real brake in my opinion having not tried a load cell or hydraulic brake but uh, it definitely has little resistance and then a lot of resistance by the end of the travel so it does definitely give that impression of pr pushing a real brake um, I also noted that uh, even though the Kia has ABS I felt better threshold braking and things like that so overall off a little quick test I highly recommend it because I beat my own qualifying time on my first run back with it so thumbs up from me um, and buy it for the price cheers <laughs>